The following is a presentation of William Patterson University Television. Hello. Um, so, something about me. Um, I'm the second child of four kids, and I have an older sister. She's a year and, uh, and six months older than me, and I have two younger brothers. The thing with me and my sister, we both have black hair, brown eyes, we're on the same height, so we're twins. Um, it was really annoying growing up that we were constantly telling, are you guys twins? I'm like, no, sir, we're not twins. Um, but I remember this one time, me and my sister were walking around the mall, and this security car just, like, jumps in front of us. She's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, twins. <laughs> me and my sister are all scared, like, what's going on? She goes, oh, my God, are you two twins? We, we look at each other. We're like, okay, then. Yes, we are. Um, she said, oh, my God, is it identical? And, we just, and we're like, yeah, you're identical. She's like, oh my god, I've never seen twins before. We're like, but you work at a mall. Like, and now every time we go to the mall, we try to avoid her. And like, it, last time it took us like three hours to get to Macy's because she's just stationed right there. Um, so my family had to be really careful what you like because you f will forever be affiliated with it. Like, I like c cartoons, anime, superheroes, and especially Batman. Batman's my favorite superhero. And my parents assume, my, my whole family assumes Batman is my entire life being. They assume I play Batman, listen to Batman, only read Batman. Like, I get it, but like, not that much. <laughs> um, sorry. <sighs> Nerves. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, I'm, and it's kind of nice, you know, they, all my gifts are um, Batman themed, and it's like, you know, it's nice, I like it. They buy me plushies, figurines, movies, and games. And like one time, my sister they even threw me a Batman themed birthday party, and and it was funny. They had like the whole Batman running, the giant balloon of him running in a mask. And my sister told me when she went to party city that they were the guy was like, "Oh, is this for your little brother?" Like, "Oh no, it's for my sister." Like, "Oh, how old is she turning?" Twenty one. Oh, <laughs> and I like I, I love it. Trust me, I enjoy this, but it gets me mad when they assume it's like my problem. Like one time I walked in, they're like. Oh my God, you have so much Batman. You have an obsession. I'm like, are you serious? All I bought was a book bag, a t shirt, and a cape. <laughs> um, I think uh, about me is I have a fear of dogs, and people always ask me, like, how can you be afraid of dogs? Well, let me tell you why I'm afraid of dogs. Um, it happened when I was five. My uncle tried to get a dog, and not just any ordinary dog, he got an ex police Rottweiler. And it was around my height at the time, and its name will forever stay with me Shasha. And this dog absolutely hated everybody, especially me and my siblings. It was chase up, chase us everywhere from the stairs, but luckily she couldn't go up the stairs. But one time, the one moment that forever traumatized me would be the when we were playing in our playground, and we were just minding our own business. It was a nice day, and then we hear a bark. And we turn around, we see her coming towards us, and we're like screaming at the top of our lungs. We run, and like a horror movie, with my luck, I trip. And I'm like, I told myself, go on without me. And they're like, no, we leave no one behind. So they dragged me away. <laughs> but sadly, there was a casualty. Tinky, Winky, Lala, Poe, and Dipsy, my little Teletubby slippers. It didn't make it. I was so upset when I went to the bathroom to see its remains all chewed up and dog drool. And I know everyone said, like, not all dogs are like that, but my cousin has a chihuahua, and he's just evil. <laughs> um, so um, another thing I like, um, I like T-shirts. T-shirts are comfortable. They're good for any season. And I know there's a big difference between men and women's t-shirts. Like the men's have more creative, more vibrant, and better designed t-shirts. And when I go to the women's section, it's the complete opposite. Everything's like faded, everything's heart shaped, everything's in pink, and I'm like, really? And I'm like, it's like the, the symbol to be like so faded. Like, is that a stain? I'm like, no, it's a Wonder Woman with symbol. And all the shirts would say, oh, I only date heroes. And I'm like, no, I am the hero. And um. But yeah, but then I think, wait, women's clothing is weird anyway. Like sweaters have, um, sweaters um, for women are holes in the bags, ripped, cropped. And I'm like, yes, that'll keep me warm during the winter. <laughs> and um, so I turned 21 earlier this year. And my friend, me and my friend were like freaking out because we both were turning 21 together. And we're like, what, really? She's like, yeah, are you going to be those people who are antisocial, stay indoors, not be forced to drink and go out? I'm like, hell yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>